the UIL academic events being canceled last year due to COVID, students are set to compete today and tomorrow in different academic competitions ranging from journalism to computer science. We have several different events that um, students can compete in. And at the district meet, it's limited how many can compete in each event. And whoever places um, a certain placing, sometimes it's only first place or first through third can advance to the next level, which is regionals. Um, so there are several different events from accounting to science where they have four different categories that they'll compete in with a written test. And some, are, some tests are hands-on and others are, um, are a written test. For Wingspan Managing Editor, Senior Anna Quinn, UIL contests are a bit different than the work she normally does, but she hopes that her daily work for Wingspan will serve her well. So the UIL Academic Competition for Journalism is a, it's a competition where you go into a school and there's, I think, like six events and there's the events range from like 30 minutes to 45 minutes and you write like a story or like a headline depending on what your event is. And how I'm preparing for the competition is just writing stories like I do every week, but um, putting more of an emphasis on like my writing and the words I use and just like the execution of it. Like most UIL events, the academic competition is taking many COVID precautions. So we have made to stay um, in line with COVID guidelines and social distancing and try to keep the crowds um, with 10 high schools a little bit smaller. We have um, all the speech and debate events have been virtual this year, so they will remain virtual um, for UIL districts and uh, beyond, I believe. And then we we're using more classrooms for the events that we're holding in person. We're using more classrooms at the campus where it's gonna be held. And we're also doing it over two days as opposed to just one. So we can um, get some events accomplished and done this Friday. And then Saturday will be other events and we can reuse those classrooms. Reporting for WTV, I'm Kate Graham.